Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. Um, you've probably noticed if you if you're a regular reader of my blog that I'm uh, I've, I've just ch made a lot of changes. I'm, I'm testing out different colours and different layouts and things like that. I've uh, I've added a second menu and I've just done that today using uh, the thesis hooks, which are really really easy to use. Uh, and, and I'll show you how it's done. Um, if, you, if, you, if you've got thesis already, you may, you may consider this, or you may, uh, you may be considering buying thesis at some stage. I mean, most people start off with a free theme, free WordPress theme, and eventually do buy premium. I was the same, and I know most other people have done that. So, um, just to add this second uh, second menu, I'll show you how it's done. You just log into the uh, the back end of WordPress. Um, here we are here and uh, under the thesis uh, section on the left here you'll find the custom file editor uh, you need to go to uh, PHP we need to add some PHP script so we'll click on there now you can you can put the menu uh, above the header or below the header it's, it's very simple you just change the name of the hook um, and, and I'll show you how to do that Okay, here we are in the uh, PHP uh, file editor in Thesis, and I've just added this bit of code here, function add a nav. Um, I've changed the ID here, I've put a special ID in, um, and, I, and I've grabbed that from my existing uh, menu, so you need to find out what that is, and Thesis hook. Uh, this case I wanted to put it before the header because I've got my existing menu uh, after the header uh, or below the header so I'll put before header here and that's all I've done is I've just added that piece of code put in the, uh, the menu ID and the position there and saved it and it's created the new menu for me so I'll just show you the code and here's the code here so it's all there and that's all you need to change is that ID number of your existing WordPress menu and I'll show you how to get that in a minute and uh, and just here where I've got whatever you just decide on where you want it before the header or after the header so it's as simple as that paste that code into the uh, the thesis PHP editor and save it and, you, and you've got your, you've got your second menu you go into the back end again you have to find out the ID of the menu and to do that uh, you create your uh, sorry you go to your existing WordPress menu um, and, and then you you hover over the delete menu button you don't click it but you just hover over that and that'll tell you the ID number of your existing WordPress menu so you need to find that out I'll show you another way to do that this is just an illustration so here we are in the menus, you can find menus on the left hand side here and to find this ID number that you need to add to the code you just go like that and uh, you hover over this and down below here comes up the ID number for your existing WordPress menu so you need, it's just a three or a four digit number so you hover over there and uh, you can't see it because it's just out of screen but uh, you, you just take that little number which is just down here and you, you put that into the code and here's where you add it, I've got 1003 you just replace that with that ID number that you've just found using the method I've just shown you for your existing WordPress menu, your first one and you put that in there and then you just decide on the location of where you want the menu um, so you've already got this code which is a thesis hook uh, and you just add what I added here was before header so here's another look at it this is the actual code that I put in I haven't displayed the ID number because that's a special ID number um, but I've shown you how to just to get that but you just add here I've just added before header so it's as simple as that and you paste all that code into the thesis file editor save it and, and then you have your second menu uh, and then here it is here. Um, I've got a little bit of a gap here and here, so I'll have to fix that up with a little bit of uh, CSS code and make sure that's flush and then it'll look really nice. But uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep these colours. They're a bit, uh, they're a bit different, and uh, I'm just playing around with that at the moment. Just before I go, if you're if you're looking for hosting, if you're thinking about starting the site or your hosting renewals up, try WordPress Hosting Sale for Hostgator.